Okay, right now we will go to the uh, lesson about importing and exporting files. Um, but before I do it, I have to create um, some uh, fancy shell to have uh, some object to play on. Uh, so I need to open AutoCAD 2018. Uh, it's opening in the background, you don't see it, but wait a second. Um, yeah, we will be using for importing and exporting the uh, file type, uh, file type uh, SAT. We could, uh, in theory, stay to the, into DWG, but uh, as um, from my experience, it seems that SAT is more uh, stable format for exporting geometry. So uh, let's make uh, some splines and uh, on the splines we will make uh, some shell type uh, spline. And let's just draw something. Uh, let's uh, draw a free uh, splines with maybe the same beginning but different uh, ending and then let's change the view for the 3d view uh, let's move uh, to uh, up uh, do some and then this one also also, I didn't uh, turn on the ortho. Uh, it's uh, very wise to turn the ortho to operate only on uh, easier operate on the Z direction. So right now, move up and and one more time up then and then let's uh, loft it. So. Let's start from this and do this, and then cross sections only. So we have the shell. Let's uh, export it. Click uh, here, export and other formats. Choose SAT. Uh, let's call it a shell. Save and let's mark this shell and confirm with enter. Perfect. Then the geometry is done. Uh, let's um, turn off. Let's go to Dynamo. Uh, SAT format is very universal. It's uh, read uh, also um, by uh, Abacus and uh, Ansys. So it's uh, very common, uh, commonly used. Uh, okay, let's type new. Let's uh, look for the SAT. And we see import from uh, SAT by file path. And then uh, he is waiting for the file path. Let's uh, type file path. Let's browse. Uh, I know where it is. You probably have to change this. Browse to your needs, uh, adapt it to your needs, and then uh, we see that something has showed up. Mm, let's uh, zoom to this one. Yeah, it's it's this one. We see that uh, it's a little bit too small. We would like to scale it, so let's uh, scale uh, the geometry by um, geometry scale option, and then let's scale it by uh, then it should be okay. Perfect. Then uh, these two uh, basic uh, previous one we can hide, and we stay with uh, only scaled geometry. Uh, what is uh, also not very nice is that uh, we would like to have it uh, in the different. Uh, we, we would like to rotate it because it should be a roof, not a wall. So let's uh, type for rotate. Uh, and uh, let's type, uh, let's look for the rotates and objects uh, around an origin. Let's uh, look for the origin. Uh, we can either create a point with 000, but there is already 
origin point, which is just a point with 0, 0, 0 coordinates. Uh, axis on which we will be rotating, uh, it's a vector, so we can create a vector by coordinate, and uh, this will be the green one, uh, uh, sorry, the red uh, axis. So let's type one on the X, and then we can control um, the degrees of the rotation, and we see it rotate. Okay, let's uh, turn off the preview of this one, and we stay only with the geometry, ready for uh, the grid uh, making. Okay.